Welcome to my paint along video of this beach scene in Australia. This is a fun little watercolor sketch to give you an intro to the wonders of watercolor. So the first thing I've done is wet the whole sky area and then drop in cerulean blue, just straight cerulean blue um, mixed with a lot of water and that will just fuse into the areas of the clouds. So you go around the cloud shape. And, and then the next thing is to uh, drop in cerulean and ultramarine blue for that deep green color. Those two make a good green. You might even add some sap green in that too. And the top of that will be wet and then you just keep coming down with lighter and lighter colors. You can just clean off your brush and add water to that and just let that fuse right down into it. Because the ocean is darker on the horizon and as it comes down it gets lighter and lighter and we're going around that shape of this, the wave coming in keeping a nice wet brush as you go around that white area. Dropping in a little bit more cerulean blue to just fuse into that. That's what's so fun about watercolor is just letting the colors just fuse together. Can't do that with acrylic or oil. And so a lighter color around that surf and I'm taking some sap green in that really green area in the background. And then just let that dry and come back to that later with some darker color. And that's a sandy beach in front of that, that just little yellow ochre, maybe a little red mixed with that, but very little. And then the rocks down there close to the surf. It's just um, burnt sienna. And leave a little bit of holes there for highlights. And you can always come back over and fill them in if you need to. But that um, bright burnt sienna will just bring those rocks forward. And uh, the sand color is actually some some red and yellow ochre together. Uh, mix that in, just drop it in as, it, as, as you go. A little bit of pink, a little bit of, of, um, of that um, yellow ochre. And as that's drying, just bring in a lot, a, a little more of the burnt sienna for those rocks and just let those blend in. Burnt sienna and a little ultramarine blue will give you the darker rocks. And let those two colors kind of blend together. Okay, now at this point, we're getting in some of the greenery. After we do that surf, let's come back over the surf just a little bit. There's the greenery. A little bit of sap green and ultramarine blue. And this is you're laying in the, the pointy foliage. And this will be done in layers and layers. Uh, two or three layers of these little pointy fern looking uh, foliage. Get a good point at the end of, of that greenery with the, 
the pointy part of your brush. <coughs> While that's drying, come back with that burnt sienna again, that really good, strong, warm color, and drop in some of those rocks again, leaving a, a few holes in the rocks for just a mention. Just give it some interest. While that's drying, come back and do some of this foliage on the right hand. And in the background, one thing to point out is add a little bit of red to, um, to your green when you're doing the background. That pushes the color back. And the greens that you're doing in the foreground are bright sap green to bring the, the colors forward. But if you're, when you're doing the background, the greens um, need to be toned down a bit with uh, red. and then that will push it back further. I'm just softening the edges just a little bit so to make that less intense. Less intense makes it go fur further back. <laughs> it's a good idea to just leave some white holes as you paint in this these fern looking plants. It's just not a solid green. It's keep the direction of those uh, spindly fern pointy areas, <laughs> if you will. Just kind of flick that with your paintbrush so that you've got a, a real thin edge so it doesn't look too, um, too bulky. And that's kind of the first layer of the, the foliage. And now I'll come back with a darker green. Just add a little bit of blue to the green. And as you're glazing over that, that just means one layer over another one. That will give more dimension to, the, um, to those plants. To the fern looking trees. The more layers you do on the, on the foliage, the more it will stand out. You want that to come forward. Keeping the, the interest though in the, the ocean, that surf below. This is overlooking Coulomb Beach in Australia. It's a real fun place to paint. And as that's drying, you can just look for areas that you need a little bit more detail in those uh, palm trees. Now while that's drying, come back and do a little bit more detail on that rock area where the surf crashes up against those rocks. The more And that's the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed painting a little bit of Australia.